we are funded to develop a low cost lightweight solar concentrators. This particular design that I'm focusing on is our tower design. We focused on the solar concentrators and so they allocated a cost metric that is you know it has to be uh, $75 or less per meter square. Now the state of the art right now if you talk to anybody in the business it's more like $250 per meter square. So what we had to do is look at a very system level approach. You break it down, you know, so all the, in a, in a concentrator, for example, there are different elements. It's not just the mirror, but you have the mechanical structure that goes behind it. And then this, uh, you know, you have the actuators that kind of uh, turn the uh, mirrors and the azimuth in the elevation direction. Then you have the pedestal and how it's installed on the ground. And then you have the you know, the uh, controllers. So all these different things we had uh, addressed. And uh, so for example, on the, on the mirror side, we came up with a design that mo moves away from the standard glass mirrors. Because glass mirrors are heavy, they are prone to breakage. So our design came up with, you know, we designed a uh, foam-based uh, mirror with a reflective film on, on one side. So that reduced the uh, weight significantly down from I want to say like uh, 15 to 20 uh, kilograms per meter square in that ballpark down to five to six kilograms per meter square. So that's a huge difference. So it makes things transportation easier, makes things uh, you know, like installing in the field easier. So that's number one. And the mechanical structure, we came up with a truss based design, which is mechanically very robust and at the same time low cost because the amount of material that you use is small. The amount of material really dominates the cost. And the third one, we looked at different designs for the actuators. So you need actuators for both, like I said, the azimuth and the elevation. And we uh, looked at what is available. And so we looked at slew drives, you know, and then uh, linear actuators and combinations. And then you know, that is part of the uh, you know, breakdown process. 